Today we're looking at the shootout at the OK Corral. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com where you'll find more resources that go with many of the Bell Ringer videos. Wednesday, October 26, 1881, at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, gunfire broke out on the streets of Tombstone, Arizona, in what would become the most famous shootout in Wild West history. Interestingly, the shootout only lasted about 30 seconds, but after the smoke cleared, three men laid dead and three more were wounded. The shootout became legendary, and that is the problem. There's several conflicting accounts of what exactly happened, and even to this day, we don't know for sure all of the details. What is known is that the entire shootout revolved around a dispute between a group of outlaws calling themselves the Cowboys and law enforcement in Tombstone led by the Earp Brothers. Tombstone, Arizona was an Old West boomtown with silver being discovered near there in 1877. After the silver strike, thousands descended upon the small town and by 1881, some 7,000 people lived in Tombstone. With the sudden increase in population also came an increase in some illicit businesses, such as over 100 saloons and over a dozen gambling halls within Tombstone. And so with that came a need for law and order. In December of 1779, Virgil, James, and Wyatt Earp arrived in Tombstone. Virgil had been hired as a deputy U.S. marshal in the region, and by 1881 he was also serving as the marshal of the town. Wyatt had made a reputation for himself as a lawman in Dodge City in Wichita, Kansas, before coming to Tombstone. In addition to the Earps being involved in the gunfight, there was also gambler and gunslinger Doc Holliday, who had met Wyatt in 1878 in Texas and reportedly saved Wyatt's life in Dodge City, Kansas when someone tried to pull a gun on him. Holliday had a reputation as a killer, believed to have been involved in nine shootouts. He was living in Arizona on the advice of his doctors to find an arid climate to help him with his tuberculosis, and in September of 1880, he moved to Tombstone to be near his friends, the Earps. On the other side of the infamous gunfight were members of a group of outlaws known as the Cowboys. The Cowboys had a reputation in the area as being cattle rustlers or stealing cattle and were suspected in several robberies and murders. Billy Claiborne, brothers Ike and Billy Clanton, and brothers Tom and Frank McClory were, had all had run-ins with the law in Tombstone, and in particular, they disliked the Earps and had threatened them and Holiday on several occasions. In April of 1881, the Tombstone City Council had passed a city ordinance that made it illegal for anyone to carry guns within the city limits of Tombstone. On the morning of October 26, 1881, Wyatt Earp confronted known cowboy Tom McClory when Wyatt saw that he was carrying a weapon. When McClory refused to hand over his gun, Wyatt, who was acting as a deputy marshal to Virgil, drew his pistol and struck McClory twice with the butt of his gun. Shortly after, Wyatt and Virgil encountered Billy Clanton and Frank McClory at a local gun shop and testified that they were buying cartridges. The Earps were now confident that the group of cowboys were carrying weapons and defying the city ordinance. At about 2.30 in the afternoon, county sheriff and sometimes friend of the cowboys, Johnny Behan, approached Frank McClory and asked him to turn over his gun, but he responded he would not turn over his gun until the Earps laid down their guns. The cowboys had gathered in an alleyway near the OK Corral on the west side of Tombstone. Soon, citizens came reporting to Virgil that the cowboys were there, they were armed, and they had heard them threatening the Earps' lives. At about 3 p.m., Virgil, Wyatt, Morgan Earp, and Doc Holliday arrived in the alleyway and demanded the cowboys turn over their guns. It is unclear who fired first, but within less than one minute, 30 shots were fired. When the smoke cleared, Billy Clanton and Tom and Flank McClory were dead. Virgil, Morgan, and Doc were all wounded, but not fatally, but Wyatt was unharmed. Ike Clanton and Billy Claiborne both ran when the gunfire opened. A large funeral took place in Tombstone with hundreds attending and accusing the Earps of murder. Interestingly, after the gunfight, both Wyatt and Doc were arrested for murder, but in late November of 1881, a judge ruled that they had acted within their authority. 
In late December of 1881, Virgil was attacked and shot, leaving him maimed or permanently injured. And then in March of 1882, Morgan was shot and killed by an unknown assailant while in a saloon. Wyatt, who had recently been made a deputy U.S. Marshal, rode out along with several deputies, including Doc Holliday, and searched for those they believed to be responsible for the attacks. Several cowboys were captured or killed during the ride. And it actually wouldn't be until years later in 1931 that Wyatt Earp's biography was published that the gunfight became very well known and the inspiration for countless Western films and books. So with that, hopefully you learned something and thanks for watching.